hope you're doing great now i am going to explain the manual shipment consolidation in advanced warehouse management the manual shipment consolidation and automatic shipment consolidation the manual shipment consolidation like i see if you getting any orders like a same locations and the same customers and same warehouses like a two three shipments we have to deliver or you just you delivering on the same way is like a different different shipments these all shipments you can consolidate into one shipment then pick up the stock and you can deliver at a time okay i'll show manual after that automatic i will show in next video go to the warehouse management collapse setup waves wave template wms1 warehouse just edit disable the automatic wave release and process wave release to warehouse like it's a manual so no need to create the work the wave releasing at a warehouse only automatic wave creation is fine okay save it then go to the transfer order inventory management and bonds transfer order new from wms to non wms add the products status available this five piece i'll put it save then click the release to warehouse see wave has been created and one shipment have been created no work okay go for other uh, transfer order create two transfer orders close this one from warehouse wms1 to non wms add six inventory status available save it then release to warehouse see there is a transfer order number 74 while ago we created 73 okay the shipment have been recreated the wave then go for the all shipments go to the warehouse management shipments all shipments see the shipment id 55 the transfer order number is 73 and the shipment id 56 transfer order 74 okay these two shipments have been created and these are the wave id 43 and 44 is a wave id okay click the shipment the first one one shipment either any one shipment okay go to the action pane shipments click the consolidate shipments when you click the consolidate shipments whatever the and that warehouse whatever the open shipments everything it will come okay so just we have to select this one this is the shipment transfer order we created click okay see the now the shipment id 56 okay the transfer order number 73 and 74 it's a consolidated okay both transfer orders the shipment id is then go for the wave id okay then process the work has been under work pull work has been created then release it 
it's uh, release now. See the status has been changed. Go back. See this status, uh, shipment status is open. Once I refresh, it is, has been going to change into wave. See it's a wave. Go to the shipments. Check the work details. See the work has been created. The item this one the first item 5 and second item 6 we have to put in the bay door go to the mobile device back inventory sorry outbound TO pick transfer order select the work id Pick the location, the license plate, and this item five. We can pick it up. Okay. Then other location, the second item six each. Pick. Okay. Let's put everything multiple items in the bay door. Okay. The work has been completed. See work status in open status. Just refresh. So work is closed now. Okay. Then go for the shipment on the action pane. Come from the shipment. The shipment has been confirmed. Go to the transfer order. Just I am duplicating now. Inventory management. transfer orders see 73 and 74 shipped the status the transfer order 73 and 74 has been shipped okay then you can uh, just do the normal process okay receive everything okay this is a shipment of uh, the consolidation of the shipments just I'll create the sales order. I will show sales order also. Go for the sales and marketing. Collapse. Sales orders. All sales orders. Click new. Select the customer. Veros select the item just I'll put 10 quantity sales order we had to reserve the item, registered the item sorry Hold on. Just I am checking the item is reserved, has been reserved or not. Yeah, it's automatic reservation. Okay. It's fine. We had to reserve the item in sales order. Then go for the warehouse. Release to warehouse. The sales order number is 101. Okay. Just remember. Okay. One shipment have been created. No work. Then go for the new. One more sales order. Select the warehouse, click OK. Second item, take it. Enter the file quantity. This automatic reservation is fine, no problem. Just save it. Warehouse, release to warehouse. This is a sales order number 102. Okay. So sales order one and sales 101 and 102. Go to the all shipments. Warehouse management. Collapse shipments. 
all shipments is the same process whatever we did the transfer order and sales order also okay see the shipment id 57101 and shipment id 58102 the wave id 45 and 46 you can check the waves here also warehouse management outbound waves shipment waves all waves here also you can see the 45 and 46 okay the waves then go for the all shipments again so the 57 one shipment id and 58 we can consolidate this one go to the shipments you can check the on the down order number okay sales order number consolidate shipments click ok sorry select the shipment id click ok okay the shipment id 57 see the transfer orders numbers 101 and 102 okay then click the wave id okay see here the status created process it this in the held status then release the wave So it has been released now. Okay, the work has been created. Go back. Here also status is open status. Once you refresh, it is going to be changed like a wave. Okay, wave. Go for the shipments. Sorry. Shipments, work details. This uh, work ID has been created. Okay. Select the work ID. Go to the mobile device. Inventory. Sorry. Sorry. Outbound. Sales pickup. Sales order pick. Enter the work ID. See the pick the this location you have to pick the item the first item 10 pieces okay and the same the location second item five pieces okay everything put in the bay door 15 pieces total okay the work has been finished now go to the here just refresh okay it's a work status has been closed go for the shipment confirm the shipment shipment has been confirmed okay then go to the sales orders sales and marketing module all sales orders 101 and 102 the status has been released now then you can create the packing slip then you can create the push packing slip and this invoice it this is a normal procedure okay this is a manual shipment consolidation just i will make it one more video for the automatic shipment consolidation uh, thank you very much for watching the video